trying to um, educate the public about the need for uh, conservation. The number of the species that we hold here, which is probably the highest percentage of any of the zoos in Australia, of critically endangered animals um, having great successes with breeding. Well, so there's a lot of research that's done um, on in collaboration with other organisations external to zoos, um, and they have direct impacts on wild populations. And some of them actually are research studies on wild populations. And we've got the Sumatran tigers, we bred a litter two years ago of those, they're going to their new homes uh, very shortly. Of successes um, at Mogo Zoo specifically we've had tremendous success breeding endangered primate species um, and th that's really important of course for assurance populations and about learning um, how to care for the more critically endangered species properly. We've got silvery gibbons or Javan gibbons uh, which we've bred very successfully here. <laughs> So local scale, I guess uh, it's really important um, for education. We do a lot of um, public talks and we bring conservation into all of those talks. Um, and then we have signage, uh, we do work experience programs so that we can get people in and see what we do and, and teach them. We're, we're very closely involved with other zoos and their programs as well. So it, it really is a, a, a big sort of group effort, um, particularly within the Australian um, and New Zealand region where we all work together on that. It's the next generation really that's going to be making the biggest impact on those um, problems. So yeah, it's absolutely critical that we get um, knowledge to the young people who are up and coming. Every single thing makes a bit of a difference.